What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's get in some NBA picks for Thursday, April 6th, slate of games. If you guys enjoy these videos, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel as well. You can also become a member for just $4.99 a month over at BearsProfitPlays.com. You can sign up today and get our best plays and props tonight, so go check that out down below. All right. Trey, let's get into our picture from last night. Start us off. Yeah, I was 0-1. I gave out the Pistons plus 10.5 against the Nets. The Pistons lost and failed to cover the game for us, mainly because the Nets put up 47 points in the first quarter on them. But Detroit fought hard and managed to come back in the game. They were only down by six points heading into the fourth quarter. And then the only problem after that was they proceeded to get blown out in the fourth quarter by nine points, losing the game by 15. So... They fought hard, but did not cover, and they lost and got blown out. Same old Pistons. Yeah, I had the Indianapolis Pacers plus nine against the New York Knicks. Uh, depending on where you got this line, I think it got up to nine and a half last night when we recorded. Uh, and then it dropped to like plus four, plus four and a half right before the game with Brunson being scratched. But regardless, we did get the push at plus nine. My punishment for getting the push is having to look at that one at the end of my record until the end of times. But uh, regardless, we did get the push at plus nine. So, oh, one and one night. We don't like to see that. Let's go to an O trade tonight. Start us off. Yeah, I'm going to be attacking the Cavs at the Orlando Magic game. These two teams actually played each other two nights ago, and the Cavs only won that game by four points. And all the Cavs stars played in that game. That is not the case in this game, though. Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Isaac Okuro, Karis LeVert, all of those players are already ruled out for the game. So the Cavs' top six players, boom, gone like that. And I'm not entirely sure what their starting lineup is going to look like, but it's going to be some mix of Ricky Rubio, Seti Osman, Dean Wade, Lamar Stevens, and Mahadi Diakite. Don't know if I pronounced that right, but gave it a good old college try. Regardless, that lineup is very bad, let alone who's going to be coming off their bench. And whenever you factor in that this Orlando team is actually playing really hard and their roster is actually pretty deep, I think that they should win this game easily and probably by double digits. So give me the magic here. I'm going to buy a half point, take them minus seven and a half. Here are my three favorite trends for this game. The magic are 5-0-1 ATS in their last six home games. The magic are 10-1-1 ATS in their last 12 games overall. And the Cavs are 0-3-1 ATS in their last four games in Orlando. Give me the magic here, minus seven and a half to win by double digits. I love that play, Trey. I love watching the Magic play as well, but great pick there. For my play tonight, I'm going with the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Utah Jazz game. I will be taking the Oklahoma City Thunder minus 5.5. Only one team is fighting for a playoff spot in this game, and that is the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, they will be at full strength, and they are struggling right now to get wins. They are still a half a game up on the Dallas Mavericks, uh, but they need to win out most likely because the Mavericks won tonight against the Kings at home. So the gap is closing. The Utah Jazz aren't looking to win this game. And they will have multiple starters out as well. I know that technically speaking, the Utah Jazz are still in the playoff hunt. They will have Walker Kessler and Laurie Markkinen out in this game. And let's face it, guys, them losing to the Lakers in overtime in their last game sealed the deal for their playoff hopes. Uh, they fought hard all the way at the end of the season. Nobody thought they'd be here, but they couldn't get it done down the stretch of the season. Too many injuries for the Utah Jazz. And I think the Oklahoma State Thunders will officially bounce Utah out of the playoffs tomorrow night. So give me the Thunder minus five and a half as my pick. All right, guys. That'll do it for our NBA basketball picks and predictions. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.